in this video we're visiting Patterson River um, which we accessed through Launching Way um, off Thompson's Road in Patterson Lakes. So there's lots of uh, parking at Patterson at Launching Way. There's actually five five boat ramps, I think. Yes, I think there's about five boat ramps. Yeah. Uh, they spread across quite a, a wide area of the Patterson River. So there's actually quite a bit of space to, you know, you can go either go down to to the sort of one end or there's actually quite a bit of space and go all the way down to the, the other end. So you don't add, have to bunch up. No, the only problem is that most of it's boat parking with trailers. So the parking for cars is to the left of um, ramp one, which is where we launched from for this video. Yeah. So what you're seeing in this part of the video here is that we basically paddled up um, Patterson River towards Dan uh, towards the freeways away from the beach in this video and you can see here the houses at the right hand side yeah and as you sort of head up the river towards the uh, um, the Melbourne water sort of area it then does stop um, there's a set of rocks so you can't go any further so then we decided to come back and explore the marina which was sort of uh, furthest from the bay um, now they have a big set of floodgates there and uh, they're actually quite impressive as you paddle through them um, and then you, you head through and the, the water is much calmer as you go through i guess that's to be expected and it sort of opens up and you find lots of houses around you and boats and uh, down the far ends and little restaurants and uh, actually a, a very pleasant uh, um, setup um, made for a very gentle um, paddle around. I was tempted to stop and grab a cup of tea but um, we kept going. We kept going. This was actually our longest, one of our longest paddles to this point. So I did 4.2 kilometres over one hour and 40 minutes and Simon did... I, did, I went a little further. Mine, little mine was about further. five and a half or so. Um, and because uh, I, I did the extra leg down Patterson River itself. Yeah, Simon was actually heading closer towards where you couldn't go any further, towards the freeways, whereas it was a bit windy at that stage. So. Yeah. I um I took a rest on the on the uh, beach there just outside of this canal entrance that you can see here and um, waited for Simon to go up to the end and come back and so he he did a lot for he did a bit further than myself. Yes, it was. It was once the winds gets gets up a bit. Although it's flat water, you will find it a little bit challenging. Um, the other challenge, of course, is the boat wash and the jet ski washes. Yeah, now this this down this end is not too bad, but once you approach the launch area, which um, you can see actually here as we're yeah, coming back in, even though the uh, boat speeds are meant to limit to sort of five knots, it's it, the wash behind the boats can be quite quite big. Look, most of them are actually. Uh, are really good. They see you. They slow down. They they don't come too close. But every now and again, you you, you get a particularly large boat going through, and the the wash behind the boat can be a little larger. So just 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 be prepared. Uh, point your nose into the uh, swell as it comes through, and then you should be fine. Just to sum up uh, Patterson River, there is uh, lots of opportunities to launch at the five different boat ramps at the bottom of Launching Way. Or as you can see in these two images, there are a number of points along Patterson River um, that you can access to behind the shopping centre and um, canals. To sum up, there's lots of free and easy parking to the left of Ramp 1, or as I said, at those other different launching points along Patterson River. Uh, it's a flat, you've got options for both flat river paddling or also you can go to the left of where launch um, ramp one is and go out underneath the bridge and out onto the beach at Carrum. So that's also an option. Watch out for the jet skis and the boat wash. 
There is at ramp one, lots of amenities there, including um, toilets and picnic areas. And there is of course the cute cafe uh, called Settle Gretel. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you do, and hope to see you next time. Thank you.